Hi everyone, my name is Melissa. In this video, I want to showcase how you can extract record field values from a nested list and combine those into a single text string. A member on the Enterprise DNA forum posted this scenario. They're loading in a table that contains lists. And if we drill down into that first list, so I'll right click off to the side here in the white space and select add as new query, we can see the content of that list. This list contains three records. And when I click off to the side in the white space here, we can see a preview of the content of that record down below. Now the goal is to look up the field lookup value and then extract that value. Once we've extracted all those field values, combine those into a single text string. So I'll reference my source query. I'll right click that and select reference. Via that mini table icon, I'll add a custom column. Basically, we want to transform that nested list, extracting each value from that field in those nested records. And we can use a function called list.transform to do that. So here I'll add list.transform. So it requires a list and our lists are in the from lookup column. So I'll select that comma and then it wants a transformation as a function. And for each element in that list, we want to get the text from. So each text dot from. To access all of the elements, we can use the nameless variable underscore. So I'll add the underscore here, but all of the elements in our list are records. So we need to also add the field access operator. So in a set of square brackets, we can add the field name that we want to access. And that's called lookup value. Closing square bracket and closing parentheses. So that's the closing parentheses for the text.from, another closing parentheses for the list.transform function, and press OK. So let's click off to the side here in the white space to see the results. So we've got all of the descriptions from those nested records. Same here. And here we get an error. So I'll right click to down drill into that by adding it as a new query first. I'll click off to the side here in the white space and we see no lookup value. What? Okay, so the field doesn't exist in this record, but we know how to fix that as well. So I'll delete this helper query, delete that, step back to our design query and after the field access operator, we can add the question mark. So press OK. And now again, we'll check that third item. So I'll click off to the side in the white space here. And we no longer get that error, but we get a null instead. All that's left to do is combine these text values, right? So we need to combine these into a single string. And for that, we can use the function text.combine. So in the formula bar, we'll add text.combine. Opening parentheses, let's skip to the end, add a comma. So the first parameter was text as a list. That was what this syntax returned. And now it wants a separator as a text. So quote signs closing parentheses and press OK. Excellent. So we've seen how to extract record field values from a nested list and combine those values into a single text string. We've used list.transform and text.from to extract the field values from each of the records within that nested list. 
and finally combine those results in a single text string using text.combine. Thank you so much for watching. All the best. Hey everyone. Thanks for tuning in to Enterprise DNA TV. If you enjoyed the content covered in this particular tutorial, please throw the video a like. It really helps us and we really appreciate it. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the Enterprise DNA TV channel. Uh, we have a huge amount of content coming out all the time from myself and a range of content creators, uh, all dedicated to improving the way that you use Power BI and the Power Platform. Lastly, check out Enterprise DNA's website, plenty of resources and further learning that you can access very easily. All the best, take care.